Hello everybody, I'm Spooky's the Lost, and well, it seems a lot of YouTubers are doing these, so I'm going to give it a go. So, let's begin with, will you press the button? Yes, the button, as in the button, as in I press this button and all sorts of terrible, terrible things can happen. So, what's the first question? Will you press the button? If I push the button, I can't have the superpower of my dreams, and I can only use them for evil. Nope. Okay, and let's make sure I have a timer on this. We'll make it short, make it sweet. All right. Oh, interesting. Okay. What's the next question? You can you become super smart and can understand the meaning of life and the universe as a human being. You change your gender and species at random every time you think about your genitals. You know what? That might be kind of fun. Hmm. <laughs> wow. Alright, what's the next one? You can wish for any game you want and only you. Each game you wish for gets progressively worse than the last, thus ruining your favorites. Hmm. Interesting. No. You can kill anyone you want whenever you want. But each time you do it, someone you love or are friends with dies. So what happens when you're out of friends? Does that mean you just kill all sorts of people? Does this mean I get to become L? <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Or excuse me, I get to become uh, uh, Light Yagami. Um, Kira! Yes. You will speak every language in the world, but you'll have the worst pronunciation ever. You know, I'll piss off a lot of people, but I'd probably get a lot of props for being an American speaking, at least attempting to speak their language. Pokemon are real, but 75% of them will attack humans on, on site. Don't they anyway? Eh. I don't need Pokemon to be real. Hmm. Because I don't care if your Pokemans are real or not. Let's see. You can have unlimited amounts of money, but you can have never have sex again? Huh. That's a good one. I mean, there's other ways to reproduce, so it's not that big a deal, but it's fun, too. I don't think it's worth it. Hmm. You will always smell fantastic even when you don't take a shower for seven months. But every other month you have to lick a hot sweaty, hairy armpit? What? You are... Jesus, grokking Noctar. Everything on the internet loads and downloads instantly for you and there is no limit to how much you can download. You can't use the internet for anything porn related. Well, that's fine, I don't use it for porn anyway. I mean, I've got actual people for that. <laughs> so I'll definitely press that one because it doesn't affect me in any way. The Twilight series books never existed. The Harry Potter books and movies also never existed. Doesn't affect me and I actually didn't like the later movies. You become the sidekick of your favorite superhero. You know and can't change the outcome of your issue's death. Huh. Wait. But. But. I don't die. I become. A gamma irradiated superhero on my own. Nice. Yeah, I won't die, so I'm good. <laughs> you gain a hundred million dollars. But you have to share porn every day on Facebook, and the whole world will see these posts. 
<laughs> that ain't worth it. Hmm. You will be sent back in time to stop the greatest evil. To stop the evil, you must be an evil. Time traveling super Hitler? <laughs> All right. <coughs> that was an interesting one. You know what? I wouldn't care because it's actually fun. <laughs> because it's, I've actually got a friend who has that con problem. <laughs> it's hilarious. You can resurrect the dead, but you may never speak with them or interact with them or you will die. But by resurrecting the dead, I'll die. Like, no. Hmm. You get a 10 out of 10 body and face, but you'll feel tired but never sleep. That will kill me. Like, that will straight up kill me. You get a dollar every time you pick your nose. He'll always have to fart on your food before you eat it. What? What? <laughs> Weird much? You get three wishes. This computer stops working, and it's over $3,000 to fix it, and you can't directly wish for $3,000 or wish for more wishes. Hmm. Aha! But I can wish for a computer that gives me infinite wishes. No. Ooh, I could wish for a sentient computer so I can just hack the world and have unlimited power. Problem solved. I'll take that. Plus I have the money to buy a new one anyway. You become rich and famous, but you change genders. Yeah, sure. Be a hot supermodel. Why not? Seriously. Who wouldn't want to be a female actor and be hot? And, and rich. Not to mention women live longer than men anyway. Like, genetically, it's a thing. You will have free video games, internet, movies, pizzas, anything you want delivered to you, and you will live forever. But you will never be allowed to leave your house and have anyone over, or you will die. Yeah, but I've got free internet, so I can just video chat people. And with the internet, I can just play games online anyway. And I'm set for life, so... I don't see the downside here. I'm completely okay with that. I mean, I guess I couldn't have a girlfriend over, but with technology, I could just, you know... Literally have girlfriend-type fun over the internet using telepresence stuff. So that'd be fine. <laughs> you can become the opposite gender at any time you like, but your pubic hair grows fifth, grows a foot and a half, almost a foot and a half every single day of your life. <laughs> you know what? That's actually all right, because that just means I could make money selling it as head hair. And who wouldn't want long hair from a sexy lady? <laughs> Seriously. Especially in Japan. No. 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 I don't care. I don't really care. There are no wars, terrorist attacks, or any conflicts between humankind that threaten the well-being of any living creature for 30 30 what? 30 what? 30 seconds? 30 minutes? 30 years? 30 centuries? As, unless I know how long the duration is, it's not worth it. You invent sustainable and renewable energy methods which replace the current system. This eventually restores the world to its clean natural state and turns Earth into a utopia. 
But you replace Hitler as humankind's worst person, you go down in history as a mass murdering rapist who attempted to rid the world of gays, women, and brown people. Even your loved ones believe so. Huh, that's a good one. You know what? I think it'd be alright to sacrifice myself for the world in that case. Just because. You get to be the captain of a spaceship. But you'll always be running from the law. Hey, I'm Mal Reynolds. I'll do that. I'm Mal. Like, from Firefly. You can have every superpower in the comic book universe. But you die after one year. Wouldn't that make me immortal, though? Like, I'd be Galactus. Which means I'd have the power of immortality, which would kind of trump this. Okay, Q. You get your wish. Hmm. You can meet any celebrity, dead or alive, but they will act as if you're not there. Well, it would be kind of neat to actually watch some of the old school celebrities and, uh, and such from the past. So that's alright. I wouldn't want to talk to them anyway. Ooh! Oh, I shouldn't have pushed it because the condition would mean I wouldn't get to... I'd get to see Leonard Nimoy, but I wouldn't get to talk to him. That's a shame. The best internet ever. But you have to use the Internet Explorer. No. No. You're you're a bad you're bad and you should feel bad. There is no more poverty, hunger, injustice, and inequality in the world for the next one hundred years. That will begin after you die, and there is a fifty percent chance that no one will know you press the button. But I would want to live in that world. So... I'm kind of selfish. You become twice as knowledgeable. Half your heart is damaged by a heart attack. <laughs> Wait! If only half my heart is damaged, I'll still live. And that means I get to get a cybernetic upgrade. Plus I'll become twice as knowledgeable, which means I can probably build it. I'll do that! I'll just become immortal and cause it. You get all the pizza you want, it makes you twice as fat as a regular pizza. <laughs> nope, I'm good. I don't really eat pizza. <laughs> you rule the world, but you have to maintain a direct democracy. But humans make such bad decisions! Ooh, but I rule the world, which means I get to educate them, which means I can still control the democracy. I'm just making sure that people are smarter first. I can do that. Cockroaches can only crawl and are wingless. There will be a population of them under your house. I don't want a cockroach infestation. Who would want that? You have the power to bring like, like anyone back to life. Family member, favorite singer. Every time you bring someone back to life, your lifespan shortens by one year. I shouldn't play that game. That's not a good idea. You can make anyone love you, but they know they don't actually love you. You just told them to. Ooh. It's a tough one because love is simply, bra is simply brain chemicals. Does that mean that I'm simply using powers to will them to have brain chemicals like oxytocin and oxycodone and, like, and, and, like endorphins and stuff? Because if so, I'd actually be alright with an artificially created harem. I'll take that bet. I'd be completely fine with that. Like, I'm evil, but I'd be completely fine with that. It already ended, so yes, I want to see that anime. Except I can lose that weight. So, also, Java. I'm not interested in a new book. Uh, 
sure. I can just kick their ass. <laughs> Your ability to listen, touch, taste, smell, and talk are improved, but you become blind. Mmm. Do I get access to the spice? Probably not. It's not worth it. Life goes exactly how you want, but you die in five years. Nope. It's already going exactly how I want. I don't want to just die. Find undeniable proof the Jews did 9-11. But you release it or tell anyone you'll get assassinated by Mossad five minutes later. Uh, I know the Jews did do 9-11. What the hell, man? Seriously, what the grok bok and noctar? Okay, one more, one more. You have any amount of money you want, but one of the people you love the most will die as soon as you choose an amount. Ooh. All right, one more. Exactly one more. I couldn't do it. Everybody unconditionally loves you. You have a highly contagious skin disease? No. Huh. I couldn't do it. That was a good one. Well, I'll leave it here. Until next time, this has been Zalost with Will You Push the Button? Signing off. <laughs>